are here in the Arklamis, a big part of prevention and protection is keeping the ditches clear, but whose job's that? Yours or your city or parishes? NBC 10's Raven Jackson's been talking to one lady in Monroe about her fight for a ditch fix. Raven? Right, Gordon. Lynn McDonald says she's speaking for her her block of K Street about an erosion issue that she says could become an even bigger hazard if it isn't fixed properly and quickly. It's a ditch that's causing quite a stink for those who live on K Street in Monroe. With seemingly a beautiful living area in the Garden District, it's actually dealing with erosion issues. It's eroded to the point that my property is falling in to the ditch. The city had to come put rebarbs under my fence. Lynn says she's spoken with authorities before, but they never seem to make the reconstruction headway that residents are looking for. Oh yeah, they know who I am. We have gone out there and we've done uh, repairs on uh, multiple occasions. They did survey, or had the engineers come and measure from the walking bridge here to all the way to Hilton, but nothing else happened. This metal bridge that you see me walking on is just about the only thing sturdy on this ditch, from stagnant waters to a tilting pipe and holes big enough for rodents to live in and come through. These residents say they just want their voice to be heard for a solution and a permanent fix. There have been holes, in the uh, erosion and holes in the ditch where you could stuck several bicycles. It's an expensive fix and they're doing what they can with what they have. That ditch needs to be totally constructed from the standpoint of the structural condition of the ditch and I, I would guess probably two million dollars. Janway says that number is just a quote and they're planning to fix smaller scale issues like the many holes Soon. We'll fill the, uh, the voids uh, as best we can in the very near future. Lynn McDonald has planted her own trees along the border between her home and the ditch in order to make a quick fix, but she's looking for something more permanent to be done by the city. Mr. Janeway tells me that the public works offices have tested the ditch as functional and full repairs would be on a very large scale of construction, but they do plan to make headway to fix what's possible in order to be a better quality of life for those on K Street affected by the erosion. In the studio, Raven Jackson, NBC 10, your local news leader.